All right, Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, we love it. Apparently it's what you people want. Um, I'm recording this before number two in this series goes live. <laughs> goes live. Before I publish it on YouTube. Uh, this is probably number five in the series that you're watching right now. Right now we're just watching them dig out some bedrooms. Hey, I'm the Birdman. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. Oh yeah. You know what we need to do is designate some more bedrooms. Um, let's see, 1428. So, wow, this is actually going to be really easy. Normally I need a lot more bedrooms than this, but this will actually do us for the entire population. That's uh, not counting noble bedrooms. Oops, there we go. Not counting noble bedrooms, which will probably go on their own level. I haven't ruled out putting them above ground. Uh, six, seven. Yes? Yes. And then any of these that aren't occupied by citizens will be uh, rooms for visitors. Finish getting these dug out. What I want to do this time is get the living quarters dug out. So we'll get bedrooms, we'll get dining halls and food storage, uh, maybe food prep. And then we'll start on the work level which will just be one down from here, unless there's something screwy on the next level. Yeah, at the time this is going up, well, at the time I'm recording this, it hasn't gone up yet. I'm still obsessively watching the analytics for the first video in the series. Which, for some reason, is getting much better results than the stuff I normally post. Apparently the people want Dwarf Fortress! And I'm happy to give it to them. Okay. We gotta let that run. A lot of clattering coming from the other end of the house here. I don't know if that's gonna get on the recording. I can fix it in post. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, that's right. That's our metalsmith. That went crazy, even though we had what he needed? Okay, why are we not putting him in there? Have they just not found him? Guys, go over there. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave that corpse there for now, it's fine. Oh, you know what, though? Oh... Uh -oh. Let's just add corpses to the refuse pile. There we go. Now you got him. Let's see, is his stuff available? Yeah. Oh, we should take out some item storage too while we're at it. Right, so remember our goal here is... Hey, there we go. Oh, you found him, huh? guys carrying the corpse in there goes in the, the coffin. Casket? Coffin. <laughs> carrying him to the pile. And they're like, oh, hey, wait a minute, this guy's dead. Uh. Anyway, remember our objective here is to go to war with the elves. We're not ready for that yet. To that end, though, that probably means we'll want to militarize our entire population of 50, if at all possible. Ooh, we need to decide what weapons they're going to get. I'm thinking, since this is going to be based on timber rights... Look at all that microcline, that's hideous. Um, we'll probably go with axes. I think that sounds pretty good. Also, it's been like a week since I recorded episodes 3 and 4, so I have to take a minute to remember what all I'm doing here. These have all been designated, right? Yes. Fantastic. What do we have in the way of beds? Not enough. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's so lopsided. We'll put the dining rooms up here, maybe. Well, you know what? We should put dining rooms at both ends. No, no. I have another idea. But that can wait until this is all sorted out here. Which shouldn't take that long. We're doing pretty well considering that we only have, well, 19 citizens because the child can't work yet. What do you mean, no job? Oh, <laughs> you're a dyer, huh? No, you're not. You're a stone detailer now. And so is this fish dissector. And so's this fish dissector. Is that the same one? Nope. And so is this beekeeper. And you know what? So is... Oh, wow, we got a lot of people here. Not doing anything tremendously useful right now. There we go. Y'all can just smooth out these bedrooms. There you go. Happy, productive members of society. That's what we like to see. Oh yeah, nice thing about this, uh, it won't take that long to smooth everything. Now we're smoothing it, but remember, uh, we're trying to make as much of a mess of the trees as possible, so let's take another carpenter's shop out here. Uh, build it out of logs. Um, how did we cut log? No. Plank? How do we cut logs into... Oh, wood blocks. Wood block. There we go. Uh, 50? I don't know. We're gonna put down hardwood flooring, is the point. That's what I was working toward there. With that sentence I kind of abandoned. So this is all gonna get wood flooring. And we'll stick with wood furniture. We'll find a use for all the stone we're digging up. Probably trade goods for the mountain home. You know, I was thinking that I didn't want our monarch to come here. Oh, hey, we're actually largely out of food. What is in our food? Is that all prepared meals? Yeah, it is. What are they made of? Meat and such. Let's check the kitchen. Yep, none of that. Potatoes must become vodka. Don't cook. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Don't cook the booze. Yeah, I bet that door slamming was audible. I can fix that. I'll probably want to surreptitiously pause the recording here in a bit. <laughs> Frame rate's down slightly. Could be because of this. It seems like designating smoothing and engraving tends to tank the frame rate. Yeah, well, it fixed itself. Okay. Okay, he is... Yes, he is in the coffin now. Uh, not with his belongings, though. Those are still here. Because we don't have anywhere to put them. I haven't designated storage. So... You know what we'll do? Um, there we go. We'll just designate a few general purpose storage areas here on the second floor. For everything except food. And remember, we clear the staircases. For all the difference it makes. It makes me feel better. Okay. That'll get faster over time. Ooh, that's all dug out. How are these looking? Cool, we've got enough to start the next block of bedrooms. Oh, 
what am I doing? I'm building chains. <laughs> I'm building chains in the bedrooms. <laughs> uh, wrong kind of bedroom. That comes later. We need a jail. Come on. Alright. What side do I have the cabinets on? See, this is why we put in the background music. Makes this part a little less tedious. I'm sure there's someone watching this who just hates my design. But this is how I do. Sorry, this is actually taking a lot of concentration. Maybe it should not be, but it is. Anyway, this is how I tend to do things. Just housing blocks with dining rooms in between them. Separate work level. And doors. Okay. Okay, now I gotta think about how I want to do the dining room. What I think we're going to do... Let's see... That's all fairly well centered. So I think what we'll do is... A little corridor there. Just have this come sweeping out like this. We'll go to say we're not gonna have a ton of people here. Oops, what is that? 15? 15. Okay, and then we find the end of it. There we go. Five, seven. Fantastic. We don't need a giant dining hall. Is this right? Nope. There we go. Six, seven. Oh, fantastic. Okay, there we go. That'll work for now. And I think we'll put food prep down one level. <sighs> Look at all that rock. Yeah, we gotta do something with that. No job. Oh, you gotta make a mug now. See, now you don't have an excuse. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm moving these gemstones we're digging up. Speaking of which, let's build a jeweler. How are those wooden blocks coming? They are. They are coming along. yet. We need no job. Nobody better be thinking they don't have a job. There are things to be moved. There are walls and floors to be smoothed. Look at this. You got you got a deal bridge murder over here doing everything by himself. I finished up some work that was satisfying. See, that's what the rest of you need to be doing. Oh yeah, we need a temple. 
Well, that can happen in a bit. I wonder what kind of guilds we're going to end up with with our population at this level. Hmm. And once again, things are falling over. Oh, I see. Okay, small pause there. It was a good thing I caught that because that was my power strip falling off the desk and unplugging my computer. But everything's fine. Everything's fine. Needs unrotten cookable item. Well, we have 361 other food items. I think we're fine. What's your problem? Why are you so unhappy? Great deal of stress. Caught in the rain. Satisfied at work. You fork due to inebriation. Oh, he got angry because he was in the rain and then he was angry thinking about being in the rain. Ugh. <sighs> Sarvesh Dangle. Okay, so you got a wife and a daughter, huh? Are they both here? Yep, okay, it's you. This is your kid. Well, you better get happy then. Sure, we have a jeweler. Um, tell you what, wood burner here. You can be our gem cutter. How do you like that, huh? Does that feel fun to you? What do dwarves like, huh? You're planting seeds. Also, a worthwhile activity. We will gradually step up our use of these farm plots as our population increases. But we're doing okay for now. Why do we have so many seeds? What are those? What are all these? Mostly plump helmet spawn. Right, okay. Sure, that checks out. Maybe we'll expand the farm and just export raw plump helmets. Oh, what's going on here? Why are we not planting? Oh, plump helmets. Well, I happen to know we got a lot of those, so do it. Oh, springtime. Hehehe. <laughs> And once again, the game hangs up while saving and threatens to crash. Every time that happens, it changes to not responding. And I get nervous. Have you really played Dwarf Fortress if it's never crashed for no obvious reason? Oh, okay, we got almost everything. Well, actually, we do have enough, come to think of it because I ordered more stuff made than we actually need. So we'll get the rest of these bedrooms queued up, and that'll do us as far as that goes. Then we just have to wait for dwarves to fill them up. Um, what we should probably do is make a proper office space for our expedition leader. That won't be too difficult. We'll keep using the roomies in with the uh, with the corpse in there, but we'll trick it out and make it nice for him.
Okay, I need to say things if I'm going to be doing this. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot to comment on right now. But then again, you're probably just enjoying watching the dwarves scurry back and forth while the music plays. I bet I could upload one of these with no commentary at all and someone would enjoy it. Now, do we have more animals? Uh, no. Oh yeah, right, we brought chickens. Um, we need nest boxes. We don't need the eggs right now though. Like, we're kind of set for food. For the moment. Oh, hey, that's built. Okay. Cut sardonyx, fire agate, gray chalcedony, white chalcedony, aventurine, red tourmaline, pink tourmaline, microcline. Go, do. Oh, ew, is that a microcline mug? Yeah, it is. Ugh. How are these doing? Hey, these are already fantastic. All right. We need to do something about all this rock that's lying around here. It's not really a problem, but I don't want it down here. It makes the place look untidy. Once we get a legendary engraver from all this smoothing, we'll have them go around and engrave all these walls. This is going to be a really nice microfort. With lots and lots of fine wood flooring, which we will start laying down right now. Except for the places... Okay, it's going to be mixed wood. Except for the places where there's already furniture, because I'm not... Oh, that, nope. <laughs> Don't build fortifications in the rooms. Anyway, I'm not moving the furniture, just to put down wood flooring. Although I might remove the doors later. Eh, forget it. We'll go ahead and do it. We'll we'll actually complete the whole act here. Rip that up. Yeah, they're suspending construction probably because we got rock in the way. Um, we have our crafter here doing microcline crafts. Wonderful. Except that most of our rock is dolomite. Dolomite is a good rock. Wow, those filled up. Okay. Uh, we still got a bunch of random crap lying around. Okay. Oh. An elven caravan, you say? Why, yes! Come right in! We're not ready... We're not ready to betray you yet. So for the time being... Let me figure out where what we're trading to you okay <laughs> no no there we go dolomite dolomite and microcline it is not yet time to begin the war so we're going to be nice for the moment but it's good to know that there are elves in the vicinity All right, so there was that surreptitious cut that I was talking about. One of my housemates is heading out for a couple of days. And that was just going to be a lot of extra background noise that I didn't want to have to edit around. Also, I took the opportunity to make myself another cup of coffee. Ooh, wooden blocks ready. Fantastic. Yep, oh, here come the elves. Wait, what are those? Those are random alligators. 
Hang on, do they have anything we want? Ooh, they might have things we want. There is no reason we cannot exploit these elves before devastating their civilization. Still grabbing stuff. How much more stuff? Not a lot. Okay. Ooh, actually, do we have any more mechanisms? Yeah, we do. Fantastic. This actually forces me to engage with the game a lot more than I normally would. Normally, when I'm playing Dwarf Fortress, oh, I think we're done, I just uh, set up a bunch of tasks and then ignore the game for a few minutes while I wait for things to happen. But since I'm doing this for an audience, well, now I actually have to play the game. Check it out. Giant Ocelot, Giant Dingo. Uh, boy, I want the bird and the weasel, but we're going to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can afford that. Ooh. Uh, the prepared food's in a barrel. Never mind. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got without that. Okay. Ooh. All right, we might... Yeah, they don't have anything else we want, so... Boop. Okay, they're happy with that. All right, get out of here. We'll let him think we're cool for a while. And then we'll start stealing from them. Okay, throw down some wood blocks there and there. Good, dining hall's getting dug out. I am thinking about how we're going to handle our defenses. I don't want to over-rely on traps, but it might be kind of fun to build a kill room, you know, so we'll probably do that. Speaking of which, we should probably dig down and find some metal. But you know what, that can wait until we get the living quarters dug out. We'll do that. Come on, we'll do that simultaneously with the, uh... Oh, with the exploratory shaft. Oh, baby. And Zassa the Bone Carver has given birth to a boy. Now, it's you. Let's look at you. Here's the funny thing, if you don't know much about the game. Dabba! Babies get full personalities with likes and dislikes. He was born today, which makes him very young indeed. Moral blush oil. Ugh. Uh, anything good in here? Slow to tire, slow to tire, clumsy and weak. Yes, he is a baby. See, look at this. He likes real gar. Iron, crystal barrel, sparrow bone bolts, and male shirts. He's been alive for like two minutes, and he already has opinions about armor. He dreams of creating a great work of art. Well, I guess dwarven babies are just more advanced than human babies. This is all ready again. Boop, 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 boop. 